So, who makes the better Christmas dinner? Is it Weatherspoons or is it IKEA? Well, today I'm going to find out because I'm going to be trying them both to see who's best. So, let's start off first with Weatherspoons. So, the Weatherspoons I'm going to today is called the Scribbling Mill. It's a pretty new one that's only opened recently, which is why it's in this modern looking building. Let's head in. Now Weatherspoons, like many other places, is offering a special Christmas menu with festive themed dishes and it's where I'll be ordering from today. I'm going for their sliced turkey and winter vegetables Christmas dinner right there. Plus a cup of tea as my drink, included in the deal. So it doesn't just have to be a soft drink or alcoholic one. And it's free refills on this too. So let's make a quick cup before the meal arrives. Right, so here it is, the Weatherspoons Christmas dinner. It's served on a bigger plate than usual. Let's have a closer look at exactly what you get. First off, you get a lot of gravy. You get four big slices of turkey, a portion of mashed potato, a pot of cranberry sauce, a stuffing ball which is made from pork, apricot and cranberry, some peas, some pigs in blanket, and roasted carrots and parsnips. Let's eat. I'm going to start off with the mash. It's a decent portion. It feels thick and dense. Let's see how it tastes. Pretty good. It's a heavy mash this one, very dense indeed. In fact, similar to the Morrison's one I reviewed recently. And just like the Morrison's one, it has a nice buttery flavour. Could they be using the same mash? Maybe. It's not bad though. Let's move on to the roasted veg. I've gone for a carrot and it's one of those fancy small ones. I think it's these little things that make a dish feel a bit more special as opposed to the regular diced square ones. Let's try it. Very nice. It's soft when you bite into it, but not too soft that it still has a bit of a slight crunch. You have a nice carrot flavour and you get a decent portion too with some of the veg under the turkey helping prop it up. It's good veg though, I like it. Next up is the pigs in blankets. Now I've said this before and I'll say it again, it's pretty tough to get these wrong and everywhere I've had them they've been really nice. So let's see if it's true for Weatherspoons. It is indeed. The bacon on the outside is still a bit crispy even though it's covered in gravy. It still has a great crispy bacon taste. The sausage on the inside is meaty and maybe has a slight snap to the outside of it. But these two go very well together. Moving on we've got the peas. They're the standard garden peas, a nice green colour, maybe on the paler side. Let's try them out. Nice! You get a bit of a pop when you bite into them. They're a little on the al dente side, so still a little bit hard in the middle. Not bad. Now this is something I'm interested in trying. The stuffing ball. It's really crumbly as you can see. The menu says it's pork, apricot and cranberry. Let's see how it tastes. Interesting. I don't know if it's just me here, but that tastes fishy. It kind of tastes like smoked mackerel. You do get some sweetness from the apricot and cranberry though. In fact, you can see some of the cranberry right there. It is though, fishy tasting. Maybe not my favourite. Let's move on to the cranberry sauce. It's a dark reddy pinky colour, not as opaque as some I've had recently. Let's try it. Nice. It's really sweet so you don't need much of it. 
It's really sharp and tangy too. It's strongly flavoured this cranberry sauce. One thing I did notice though, is that it was stone cold, so probably taken straight out the fridge. I would have preferred it room temperature. Right, I think it's time for the turkey. You get four big slices and it looks to be the processed kind. But that's not a complaint as a lot of places are offering this rather than the proper cuts of turkey. It would be pretty difficult to have loads of big turkeys cooking all day. Let's try this out. Nice! You get a good meaty texture as soon as you bite into it. The gravy is the source of all the flavour here and it's well flavoured too. Four slices is a decent portion to give you that meaty fix. Ok I think it's time for some combo bites. This first one is the turkey, roasted parsnip, the mashed potato and a bit of cranberry sauce on top. Here it goes. Delicious. Next up I'm going to try one with the stuffing ball. So this is turkey, the stuffing and a bit of mash. Nice. And I have to do a bite with the pigs in blankets too. I paired it up with some carrot and mash. Let's do it. Delicious. And for the ultimate bite, everything on the plate. This is going to be one hefty bite, but a flavourful one. So let's eat it. Fantastic. This was a good Christmas dinner. I like the items on there. The only one I wasn't too sure about though was the stuffing ball. Why did it taste fishy? I'm not sure if it was just me, but that was an unexpected flavour. And in the end, the only item I didn't finish. What a nice Christmas dinner. The pigs in blankets were delicious. And the total cost of that meal was £14.79, which is a little expensive. I thought Weatherspoons was the place to go for a bit of a cheap meal, but that at nearly £15 is quite a lot. Right, let's move on to IKEA. So I didn't realise IKEA did a Christmas dinner until recently, and when I heard, I thought I'd just have to try it out and see what it's like, because I really like their breakfast and meatballs, and if they're anything to go by, it should be good. Let's head in. Okay, I eventually made it to the cafe after a very long walk. It was a busy one too with a lot of people eating. So I headed up to the queue and waited in line to order. I got a cup of tea with my meal just like at Weatherspoons, And just like them, it's unlimited refills too, which is always a welcome feature of any place. So I made my cup and headed for an empty table. Right, so here is the IKEA Christmas dinner. There should be a lot more on this plate, but let me explain and tell you what we do have. You have three pigs in blankets, which is an add-on for an additional price, an interesting turkey and stuffing combo, can't wait to try that out later, some roasted parsnips, some peas, some roast potatoes, and a good helping of gravy. Now let me tell you about the missing items. So at IKEA you can get the standard dinner which includes the turkey and stuffing, parsnips, peas, roast potatoes, gravy and red cabbage which had run out so none for me. But there are additional items you can add for an added price such as pigs in blankets which I got, cauliflower cheese and Yorkshire puddings which had both run out. Which is a bit of a shame as I don't think it's as good as it could have been. But let's try it anyway. I'm going to start off with the roast potatoes. Now these actually look good. You can see great colour on them so you can tell they've been roasted well. 
I can't wait to try them, so let's do it. Very nice. There's maybe a slight crisp to the outside, but mainly more of a chew. You get a fantastic roasted charred potato flavour, which is delicious. The inside is soft and fluffy, with a good potato taste. These are really nice roast potatoes. I like them a lot. Let's move on to the peas. Again, just your standard garden peas here. I think they may look more green than the Weatherspoons ones. Let's find out how they taste. Good peas. What can I say? A nice pea flavour. Slight snap to the outside, soft in the middle. Let's move on to the pigs in blankets. You get three in a portion, and as I mentioned, they're an added item for £1.25 for three of them. They're pretty big pigs in blankets too, let's try them. Delicious. Pigs in blankets never fail to deliver. They're good no matter where you go, and these are good ones. The bacon is lovely and crispy on the outside, with a great salty and meaty flavour. The sausage is soft with a meaty texture, but different to the bacon. Delicious! The parsnips are up next, and these have been roasted well just like the potatoes. I like the presentation of them too with them being cut lengthways. Let's see how they taste. Interesting! The texture is crisp on the outside and soft in the middle. You get the sweetness, but there's a really strong, almost bitterness to them. A bit too strong of a flavour for me on this one. Right, let's check out this unusual turkey and stuffing combination. Okay, so it looks like the stuffing is wrapped in turkey. So you have the sausage shaped stuffing in the middle and the turkey on the outside. I'm going to try out the turkey first. I've cut off a piece here and it looks to be proper turkey breast and not the processed variety. So this is actually turkey breast which I'm really impressed about. Let's try it. Nice. Now this really gives you a meaty bite because it's actually made from a turkey breast. The flavour is subtle as with all turkey and the gravy is the thing that makes it. So a decent bit of turkey. Let's move on to the stuffing. It's a bit unusual to have it wrapped up like this. It kind of feels like I'm about to eat a sausage rather than stuffing. But let's try it and see what it's like. Okay. The texture is dense and stodgy. There's not really too much else about it. You do get a subtle sage and onion flavour, which is subtle. I would have liked more flavour and a looser texture. Right, let's try out some combo bites. This first one is roast potato, the stuffing and the turkey, with gravy on it of course. Nice! Next up is roast potato, turkey and parsnip. Let's see if the turkey, potato and gravy can save the parsnip. A little bit. And I have to do a bite with the pigs in blankets. I think this is my favourite bite of the whole meal. I've paired it with stuffing, roast potato, peas and gravy. This was a bit of a mixed bag for me. The roast potatoes were fantastic, I really enjoyed them. The pigs in blankets too. The parsnips were a miss from me. The turkey was okay, but the stuffing was lacking. And I can't believe they had run out of three items, which could have made a difference to this meal. So that was an okay Christmas dinner, even though they didn't have all the items. But the ones that they did have, like the roast potatoes and pigs in blankets, they were pretty good. So the total cost of that meal was £9.45. So which one did you prefer? Comment down below. For me, I think I'm going to have to give it to Weatherspoons, even though they were a lot more expensive 
I just enjoyed that meal a little bit more. They had all the items advertised and they just went better together. So they take it for me. Okay, if you liked the video and want to see more, click on the thumbs up icon below and click on subscribe to come along for the next food journey and I'll see you in the next one.